Hello, this is Megan, AKA Just Run It, and this is another week of Megan's Monday Musings. Uh, last week I was talking about scrunchies, uh, which distracted me from um, November is National Knit a Sweater in a Month, and um, or Nanny Suimo, like I like to call it, which is the a, a few letters from each of those words. Um, and so I, I got I got a little bit of scrunchy syndrome um, and was distracted from casting on my sweater that I wanted to complete, um, which was Mid Coast by Jen Steinglass, um, which it, she is knit love wool, and she has some very beautiful, very beautiful um, colorwork sweaters. And so I had. Um, in my mind that I was going to cast this on. So I got a little bit of a late start. Uh, I posted some photos out on Instagram about how I choose or uh, about choosing colors. So I thought maybe this week we could look at how I choose colors. Um, so uh, in the past, I've taken pictures of the yarn with my phone and then applied a black and white filter. Uh, and then I was teaching a color work class at um, ZK, a knitting event that I'm the coordinator of. Um, and we put on every June in Rochester, Minnesota. And uh, somebody mentioned that it, the black and white filters, sometimes they can mess with um, things that make it look like there'll be higher contrast than there actually is. So they showed me how to do the, the saturation. Um, and so I've got two devices here, an Android device and then an iPad because I don't have an iPhone in my home uh, to kind of give you an example of that. Uh, but the, um, the main thing that I want to impart is that sometimes people want to grab colors that coordinate really well together, but you're really looking at the saturation of those colors um, and whether or not there's going to be any contrast. So you don't want them to complement each other so much as you want them to contrast and be pretty together. Um, so I really struggle with uh, speckle yarn because they have different pops of different saturation within um, the skein, but I know that there's some very beautiful color work out there made out of um, the the uh, colors that that complement and the the speckles. Uh, I like to give myself a little reassurance when I'm going to be casting on a project that um, it is uh, it's going to work, uh, and I'm not going to end up, you know, ripping out a, a large portion of it later on when I'm not getting the contrast that I want. Um, the uh, the other thing that I would say when you're knitting color work is to make sure that you give it a few rows. Sometimes on the needles, it doesn't look like it's really doing well, but um, it, if you get a couple of rows into it, it's it, it gets a little better. So let's get to the actual content of, of choosing colors. Uh, this is an Android and um, I'm gonna put a picture of the actual uh, colors that I took a picture of um, in the video as well, but if you click on that little, the little adjustments, and then you click on that again, you go to colors, and then it's the saturation that you want to mess with. So there is the saturation. So if you had been kind of looking at that purple and going, ooh, that'd be really pretty with um, that dark denim blue, um, it looks fairly similar when you turn down the saturation where you might not get a lot of contrast. Um, whereas this light blue down here, there's a ton of contrast. Um, and I particularly like these two because there's enough contrast between, um, between these two that they'll be able to offset each other and then um, the one. So again, there's my blue and my pink. And that is on an Android. And then if I switch to an Apple device, this is an iPad. Let the photo, um, let the camera adjust there. We got a little bit of glare off of the light above. If I click edit, and then I go down here. I want to do this setting. There we go. The little light adjustment setting. And go to color. And then go over here and say saturation. Oop, 
that's turning up the saturation, that's turning it down. So you can see you get a fairly consistent results across the two devices. And that one's a little bigger, so it's probably easier for you to see on your screen. So that is how I use uh, photography and cameras and some of the saturation tools that you have on your at our on at our fingertips on our phones and um, eye devices to choose colors for my color work uh, to hopefully set up my project uh, successfully. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how uh, Nanny Suimo and um, my Mid Coast sweater uh, come along. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Oofta.